Well-designed restaurants aim to transport you to a different environment, but it's not often a restaurant transports you to what feels like a different planet. Enter Tombay at Duxton Road, which is ostensibly a West African-inspired restaurant and bar, but successfully teleports you to an almost otherworldly landscape. You transition through a little foyer and up a flight of stairs. A narrow tunnel with organic walls of etched terracotta, as you ascend, a skylight above sends changing shadows down. At the entrance to the second floor, you pass through a textured curtain and into a dramatically lit, lush and lofty space under a thatched roof, the focal point, a colorful and luminous bar along the far wall. A minute ago, you were on Duxton Road, now, you're in a West African themed matrix. Tomba is the new sister of KFU2, Singapore's first broadly African restaurant. Both were founded by Canadian Kurt Wagner, who lived on the African continent in his youth. Tomba is named after his Liberian adoptive brother, who died at a young age. The restaurant celebrates my early childhood, growing up in Liberia, West Africa, and also the life of my late adopted brother, Wagner shared. Brother Tomba, a portrait of whom hangs in the space, has also inspired many of the drinks. Half of the cocktail menu is inspired by stories from his life growing up, including the Nick's Pally. A cocktail of kachaka, tamarind, lime and long pepper inspired by the football games of his youth. Behind the bar, made up of over 60% African spirits, is general manager Joma Rivera. No stranger to the local scene, his accolades include Diageo, world-class bartender of the year 2014 Philippines and Singapore champion for Compari Bartender Competition Asia 2018 and Angostura Global Cocktail Competition 2020. The food menu is ambitious and aims to give diners a taste of West African cuisine, with its hero dishes being the jollof rice with sofrito, sakura chicken and smoked pork belly. Tapalapa bread with goat's milk ricotta, house smoked honey and smoked bacon butter, and the spicier-than-it-sounds pepper soup of blended habanero peppers, seafood and offal. West African cuisine's uniqueness lies in its celebration of chilies, spices and smoked meats, explained Rivera, who visited the area before the restaurant opened. The restaurant also offers rotating smoked meats, seafood and vegetables, as well as desserts like shuku shuku, featuring cardamom coconut yogurt, chewy ginger and coconut ice cream, and cassava flan with spice dulce de leche. Wander past the window, through which the vertical garden peaks, and soak in the striking yet playful design features of the restroom area, before descending back to mundane reality.